How's it going guys? Welcome to the Blue Shifting and welcome to Persona 5 Royal. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I think everything's going really well so far. We did two live streams and I was able to compile the, those two into kind of a highlights and uh, I think it like, turned out really, really well. And uh, so yeah, I wanna keep this formula going. So to those of you in the future, welcome. And to those of you who are showing up live, either maybe a little bit late and you're gonna be catching up or just watching this in the playlist, welcome back. And it's just good to have everyone here and it's also just a fun way to go through this. It's also an opportunity for me to have a bit more interaction. I'm not anticipating we get a ton of people here because this is new. It's not something I've done on my channel a whole lot besides my rap parties. Even then, like, they didn't ever get a ton of participation anyway. Uh, and I don't intend this to be a huge thing. This is kind of me being able to relax, but a another opportunity to be able to kind of have that interaction with other people. And, uh, to just, I, I think it's a more digestible way to have the, the content, and I think it's working really well. I do want to take a bit of a, a bit of a moment and kind of talk about myself. Um, before we get really, really started here, just to kind of explain a bit. Um, I've been having a rough time in the headspace lately. I'm not going to get into details, not that there's even any details to get into, but I think um, I've kind of been riding on emotional high octane with the, with the pandemic. I had to do a lot of... Uh, being a home teacher, like a home, like a teaching at home for my family. Um, I had to put aside a lot of my own goals and like interests to do so. Uh, I, I really should have been back in school a year ago. Uh, and then there's just been the stress of, you know, like, are we going to lose jobs? Are we going to have to move? There was a lot of drama that my wife was facing and like in her work life. And it was very, very like, hard and i kind of tried to be the foundation and the, the support you know to be there and i think the long drawn out process of being that has really worn me down and lately i've been finding that the things that used to help me deal with stuff haven't been so i'm not i might not be as interactive as normal i might not be as energetic as i usually am because if i'm honest today was a hard day today i i had a, a bit of a, a bit of a break uh, not a breakdown but uh just a lot of weight emotionally and i'm looking to do this tonight as a way to stress relief as a way to kick back enjoy a game i love uh explore it and the new stuff that's in here and just you know have a good time so I hope you'll enjoy, uh, you'll join me for that. And I also want to make sure that you know that it's okay to have mental breaks. It's okay to talk about and be able to come to terms with the fact that we sometimes need extra help. Um, mental health is a very important topic and I think more than ever, we need to be able to talk about it. And so I'm not hundred percent okay lately. I am at the point where I do think I'm going to go and talk to somebody uh, professionally and I'm going to get that help because it's important to be able to be comfortable with that idea uh, and you'll never you never hear me say that I am perfect <laughs> uh, I'm very far from it so I hope that if you ever are struggling like I am lately that you feel confident enough to be able to seek the help that you need and if you're not capable of finding that help I hope that you can be reflective enough to understand that you might need to reach out to those in your life, your loved ones, friends, um, you know, trusted people who can maybe help or at least hear you out. So anyway, so I don't know why I'm starting with this PSA particularly, other than the fact that I just want you to understand that if the mood for this upcoming stream is a little different than usual, that's really why. But I don't anticipate it being that bad. It's like, it's just important to understand where I am and where you could be and that it, while it's, you might not hear it when I'm talking or in my videos, it's there and it's real. But thankfully, I also don't even have it as bad as other people do as, at all. Like, and I also have access to great healthcare and like, like I think they announced for this but during the pandemic that getting counseling is free for in our network so like i'm not going to be like the only reason i go haven't gotten help now yet is because of the pride 
and the fact that it's hard to admit you need help. But anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you enjoy the playthrough, and let's just kick back, relax, and enjoy just like this fantastic music. Uh, as again, as always, if you or if there's a balancing issue, if the sound isn't working right, if there's some kind of streaming problem, please let me know. Otherwise, let's just get started. In any case, let's get the exams over. Let's go to sleep. Uh, yeah, I mean, you literally won't let me do anything else, Morgana, so, like, I guess we're sleeping. Hmm, hello, hello. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? Um, I think so. I know so. I titled the ep uh, this uh, stream for it. Come on, man. Well, I know, so dang it. Come on, the whole thing about the kebabs? So, like. I completely spaced out until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So, you wanna go? Um, fine, fine. Let's do it. Yeah. Heck yeah, I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow, though. Eh, whatever. There's no way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow! Well, that's a good way to curse yourself. <sighs> How would he know whether it's gonna rain or rain, not it'll rain? Yeah, slaughtered that one. Sheesh, all worked up for a silly little festival. Full, full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a little profile, alright? Yeah, you should let's talk, talking cat. Night. Anyway, let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, before sleeping in, got it. I gotta skip breakfast for this. It's raining. Oh, that, it's not so bad. So it makes a big emphasis to be like, it's sunny, because it won't be. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji. I have a favor to ask. Oh, Yusuke, you beautiful man. What are you going to do now? A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Hang on. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hang on. I will be right back. You'll still be able to hear me, of course. But, uh... Naturally, I've been cold all day. And then as soon as I turn on the studio lights, whammo. Freaking hot. So. Alright, let's see. That should be a lot better. I just didn't want to, you know, showcase anything unsightly. Anyway. Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, yes, we got a joint, another joint attack. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Come on, Yusuke, you're talking to an artist. Even the simplest ideas for an artist are complicated. I wouldn't even classify myself as an artist, but I guarantee you that any time I come up with any kind of plan, it's way bigger, more problematic than it should be. <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. You a hungry boy, as always. Same here. We really need to go to Mementos. It's kind of hammering at home pretty hard. I go to Mementos. It's so hot. Hey, hey don't, don't curse it. By the way, I feel like this is... This, this is entirely different, isn't it? Because I remember Festival Day, we kind of just jumped right to it. So this is new content, I think. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. Except over here. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Yeah. A TV crew, huh? Um, uh, better not stand it out. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Here she comes. Ah, let's interview those three. Of course she does. Oh, crap. Oh, is she talking about us? Flee! Flee! What do we do? Uh, just, let's just calm down. It'd, be look, it'd actually look way more suspicious if we fled. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. 
Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Sure, dude. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Okay, cool. Uh... Anyway, <laughs> since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. Ryuji, I kind of love it. He's being adorable and it's actually working. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Beautifully executed. I'm actually rather impressed, Ryuji. That was very well thought out and put together and, like, actually, like... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It was executed properly, yes. That was truly cringy. <laughs> but are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. Unless it was live, Ryuji. Did you think about that? More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right! I can bob! Yeah, yeah. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Wait, wait, wait. Here is, you didn't even get a kebab. You got like a like a low main box. And then, where did we get that? Like, I, although to be fair, that might have been the smart decision with how hot it is. And like, Ryuji, uh, uh, let me see. Yusuke got the kebab. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. Ah. Uh. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. All right, let's donate to Morgana. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. <laughs> I really want a kebab. <laughs> it's because we're together. Oh, it's so corny. Uh, let's see. I really want a kebab. <laughs> Go for it. But, but look, at least we have shaved ice. Well... We came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What, the merry-go-round? The, no, the, the Ferris wheel? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? When does he ever? The stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, where are we going with this? Come on, let's go! This is interesting. So that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jump in the gum. No, Ryuji, come on. You can't have actually got that wrong. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You wanna go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Oh, okay. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Aww. Uh, in that case, I probably ought to just call it quits for today. Oh, I mean, it wasn't like it was a waste of time. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Hey! Yes, best girl! Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Go ahead without me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Yeah, au revoir, au revoir. Hey. Senpai? Hey, how you doing? What a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. Hmm. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. Is something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? Well, I guess you don't have to answer my question. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? You literally have no idea how empty my plans just were, and how empty they would have been anyway. Kazumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. Fetch, maybe best to accompany her. Yeah! Yeah, I know it doesn't give me a choice, but it's okay. I'm all over this. Whew, that was delicious. Good. 
Yeah, she look how much she ate, though. Holy crap. What did I just witness? <laughs> I'm always like this after a meet. Okay, so she actually performed. Oh. Is this what I was predicting last time? Remember, I said that, like, one of the problems I anticipated is that, like, she's got all this hype and this support. And so if she doesn't get, like, really well, like, perform really, really well, she could end up getting a lot of kickback. Like, she might be disappointed in herself, but the school and the students might be like, what the heck? She didn't do that well? She was getting all that preferential treatment? And it's gonna give her BS like that. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Where does it go? So, the meat's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. Crap. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Hmm. So maybe it's like a performance anxiety issue? Now, the funny thing is, like, is it more of a mental thing? That's like the constructive, like, that's very much a kind of a guy response, I would call it. Like, not that it's like limited to gender, but like, uh, my dad always told me growing up that, like, he said, like, one of the hardest things you're going to learn, because we're, we're very similar. It's like the hard things you're going to learn is that, like, when people come to you with a problem, your instinct is going to be, like, addressing the problem, like, finding, like, the source of the problem, working out a solution, and getting it taken care of so you can, you know, move forward and not have any problems in the future. However, a lot of times when people are sitting down and explaining to you something that's gone wrong, they don't want you to just try and fix it for them. They want just somebody to talk to. It's not like they're not aware of it and you're likely going to be pointing out something that they've likely already considered. You might point out something different, but you should never start with that. You should start with just being there. So that sounds rough. Yes, I've really hit a wall with this. Something similar happened to me in middle school, mm. but back then I had someone by my side that kept me going. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a button issue. I have a younger sister. I thought she was going to say had. I was like, oh boy. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. Oh boy, though. I'm still worried. But this spring... Oh, fetch! ...died in an accident. Oh, fetch! Oh my gosh! <sighs> oh no! I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. Fetch, man. Holy crap. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. I do not know what I would want to say here. You're doing your best. Is this really your limit? Or it's not over yet? I don't know. I really think it's not over yet. Like, you're, like you might be at a wall. You might not be able to overcome this, but you, you can't just give up without at least trying. Senpai, you're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Fetch. It's not even just about, like, trying to get to know you as a character or a person in right now. It's like, anybody who would tell me something like that, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna be, like, right there. Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Sounds good. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Fetch, yeah. Holy crap. Now, I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want anything else to go? Well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. <laughs> the best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. It's probably should put on running shoes, though. I don't think those shoes would be great for running. Oh, man, though. Well, there I thought it was like, escape. It's like, oh, good, we don't have a dead sister. Oh, never mind. Good grief. You like a movie? Everyone's buzzing about the summer debuts. Everyone's talking about that chick flick, Love Possibly. I'm kind of weepy, so it's embarrassing to go alone. Can you come with me to watch it? You 
movies, huh? If you go to the friend, you might be a different experience from just watching it alone. So, what are you gonna do? Will you go see movies, Lady Ons? Let's go see it, man. Lovely. Lady on pulling back tears. She's so em totally empathizing. Person's true value. It comes from love after all. I feel like I was able to learn about love. With on next to me, the movie is almost as fresh as the first time I saw it. That's actually really true. I think that's why um, reaction channels do so well. Because, like, there's something about sharing an experience with somebody. And that's kind of what, like, my channel ultimately comes down to for a lot of people, I think. It's not so much that you're watching my channel to watch the gameplay or watching it with me to see how I am going through it, my emotions and thoughts. And like it lets you be able to kind of ride the wave again. And that's awesome. I really love that that's kind of a thing, especially with something super narratively focused, like visual novels or like Persona 5. Like, I hope that's what you're experiencing is like, like a, a fresh first take. Woo, look at that. But I definitely saw this movie for a whole oh, level four already charm. Yes, that's really good, actually. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, it's so hot. Welcome to summer. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. <sighs> Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't have one. I already said this. Got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. It's true. It looks so good on him. Like it looks like it actually looks better on, than normal clothes. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I have totally like. When I go to Japan, I'm totally gonna go do one of those like experiences where you rent, like where you go and like rent an outfit, or I guess you could buy it. I'd love to buy one, but where they like help fit it for you and everything. That just sounds fun. It'd be a nice like thing to take home, I think. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Hey. Shut up. We we don't know that yet. Ooh. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Yeah. That's right. Us too. Want to go together? Oh, come on, Yusuke. Come on, pick up on what they're saying. Are we getting hit on? Not, not us, Ryuji. It's Yusuke. <laughs> come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? No, no, no. No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. Oh, whoa, what? I don't remember this. <laughs> How could you? What, what were they doing wrong? Why don't you go after them then? Hey. So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. I think you mind. <laughs> Well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. Yeah. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Oh, snap. Definitely more than somebody I know. Oh, oh, calling you out. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. <laughs> oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. By the way, you two look lovely. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Come on, Uchi, you missed the boat. Woo! Man, look at that. I love fireworks. Oh man, literally. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, fetch lightning. He's like, get out, go. This is getting dangerous. Should have brought an umbrella. Aww. Hmm? 
What are you talking about weird angles? Yeah. <laughs> nothing? Nothing? Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? <laughs> Oh wow, well, what can you do? <gasps> Hello! Subtle, subtle hint, hint. Yeah. We we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. Well, it's because everyone else had the same idea. I guess everyone had the same idea. Exactly, on. What's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. Oh, man, like, okay, there's moments like this, like, the way, like, everyone, if you ever wanted to know why I started this channel, this is, like, the scoop, okay? Like, uh, whenever I read books or watch shows or play games, I'm the kind of person who talks to the characters even if nobody's there. Like, playing on my own, I would do it all the time. It's because mentally, I like to try and picture myself being there. I really did this really heavily when I was younger with Harry Potter. I always wished I could go to Hogwarts and just tried to imagine like, what would I have said if I were in the hallway with the characters and like chatting with them and stuff? Like, it's just what I do. It's, I can't help it. It's weird, but I love it. This is like a scene where I really wish I could just imagine myself standing in here, like chatting with the guys and girls. Like it just, it's a fun mental picture. It's super dumb, but I love it. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. I can't do that here. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, uh, maybe we can do something fun tomorrow. Like, you know, go to the block, play board games or something. We made such a commotion with the public. And this is what we get? Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? No, they're also safe. <laughs> I like the shade. <laughs> uh, that's, that's how it should be. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. You want to be a the police world officer? A loud bang, like a huge firework. Then go be a firework engineer. <laughs> And again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. Ah, uh, yeah. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Oh, man. You sure we can't do something? I don't know, go bowling or something like that? Rezorg, I'm glad you agree with me. Talking to yourself while playing games. I'm glad I'm not alone. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So you won't tell me, no matter what. Okay. Again, I kind of forgot this. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to? Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. What's wrong? It's nothing. Oh yeah, nothing. She just threatened you. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. All right, uh, Purple Gamer. Okay, so yeah, uh, Purple Gamer asked me a question uh, about like making uh, content YouTube-wise. So you're asking if it's better to play a visual novel first and stream it live afterwards. I would say no. Though personally, I don't stream visual novels because I like making sure I have like all the control over the editing, the audio, because it's so like critical to the story. Like a game like this one, it has a lot of gameplay and I think it actually does better as a live. But visual novels, I've chosen not to do live, because, but that's a personal choice. I think visual novels can do very well live if that's something that works for you. Uh, but I think if you're going to be going through something that's so story heavy, you really should be focusing on stuff that you are new to. Persona 5 Royal is, is one I chose because um, it's a game that I loved, the core game, but it has new stuff that I've never experienced before. And I only played the core game once. Um, likely the next game I pick, I was thinking about doing the Mass Effect series, but again, that's because I love that series and it's something I can do while talking, kind of debating like, oh, like talking about some of like the deeper lore of the universe. 
Um, but I'd say visual novels typically are better to play blind because they are very story driven and very like reaction focused. So like the thing that people are going to be most interested in watching is how you react the first time rather than you like the other stuff. So like, again, like the reason why I can do this here, I think is because like there is new stuff to play. But yeah, I also think it's fun. It's more chill and relaxed. But visual novels, I think whatever you do first, you should capture that and show it. I think that'll be a lot more interesting for a lot more people. the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Oh boy. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Mm -hmm. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What the world are they? You know about them? Who? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. Gotcha. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Oh, yeah, I catch you. Social media presence? Well, then, let's try playing a video game. There it is! It's got lots of tentacles! Oh, no, not the tentacles. You hit the core without destroying the first. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! Oh, that was close. Oh, I like I missed the button a few for a few seconds. Oh, oh how am I gonna beat the last one? I got I gotta really brush up my skills. That was, in, oh, I'm watching the in the back play right now. Oh my gosh, it was like within milliseconds. I believe my bond cut will grow stronger soon. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Thank you. I'll be waiting in the student council room. So, my class has had a practical practice exam, entrance exam, and my score is significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. Is these work distracting you? Hmm. No, I was here to set aside an appropriate amount of time to study. Actually... The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectation my sister has set for me? I spoke to Iko about the matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Uh, Iko? Hmm? Or is it Echo? Eiko. Eiko. That's what it is. Eiko. I'm saying that. I was saying that super wrong. It's Eiko. You don't remember? Eiko Takano. Uh, Takao. We. Takao. We asked her about her jealousy, and she has a salon. Uh, she, she has a, the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, I've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. Good for you, Makoto. Good for you. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to the top university. But I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for uh, Eiko, 
Her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can do can use their connections to find her a job. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she could rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Hmm. Let's see. What do you mean, or don't you have goals? What do you mean? Hmm. I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to do a major in law, just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply head down to whatever path society had made for me. But... But everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized now that there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. Oh. <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko has been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. It reminds me, she asked me the other day what, ha what hand cream I used. I sent her a picture. It's apparently the same brand that they use in the nurse's office at school. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. She told me it's like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. <laughs> Regardless, that stuff works wonders for dry skin. It's of great value, too. I am having horrific dry skin problems lately. I don't know what's happening to me, but oh my gosh. Like, I gotta get that fixed. Actually... My father used it used 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 to use it all the time. That's a that's a t sentence right there. Did I ever tell you who is a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. A lot like you. Me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. Hmm. I like a woman in uniform. Because <laughs> that's the approach you should have. Hmm. You still want to pursue it? I don't know. I mean, I only barely remembered it just now. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? That'd be funny. Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals are for the future, outside of just playing, plain studying. Thank you very much. You know, it feels like I remembered something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. Got uh, quite a resolve for Makoto. Oh, Makoto, you lovely. All right, follow up. Chance to perform follow up attack. A Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Excellent. But I'm sure we'll have her along for a while because I think we like a lot of things are are uh, are uh, weak to nuclear for the, like most of the rest of the game. When I met Eiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just learned recently that a chemist is now called a camisola, uh, a camisole, and a button-down sweater is called a cardigan. Why do the same things have the multiple names? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So, please, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. Absolutely, Makoto. I'll see you later. Then, thank you again for today. See you later. Hi! This is Becky! Ah, oh, wait, it's you. It's summer, but don't lose focus. You're still in high school, so don't go out playing at night. Wait, is this a consider... Is this considered playing at night? <laughs> oh, or, <coughs> or worse, while it's under my supervision, it's fine. It's gonna cost you 5,000 yen to request me, but this time I'll make sure to do extra good job. 50 bucks. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Call her over. I also need to go see the, uh, the fortune teller girl. What? You're really gonna request me? I'll be heading over right now then. I'd appreciate that clean up a little first. That'd make the job easier for sure. Why am I calling you? Um... Oh, she looks so. She looks like she's in pain. I love cleaning shabby, I mean sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. What must Shojiro think of this, by the way? Is it to you, Master? I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to be such a cute maid all dirty? I feel nothing. 
I'll tell your boss. It does. Aw, oh, master. Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go, redhead. Get this over with, then. She's gonna sweep like for ten seconds, isn't she? This'll do, right? Keeping a little messy for your shabby cheek feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. That was not $50 worth of work. What? <laughs> I've never done these with her. I don't know why when I first played through, I just never prioritized her at all. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during the weekend, so I rush out of my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feel like a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you'd actually would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? Can't say I wasn't. <laughs> Absolutely not. As long as you understand. I know I'm a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Until later. Mm -hmm. Besides, try not to get in too involved with my students, so... Too involved? How involved are you allowing yourself? Oh, I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up! Thank you very much. Oh hey, don't know if you have any part-time jobs pay that pay well. I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. <laughs> well, let me know if you do. You, uh, what's it for? Well, uh, you know, it's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello. Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough. But it was the same amount as last week. I. No. Y yes, I understand. Okay. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow. <gasps> 100,000 It's a thousand dollars! Wait, n never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. How many. Uh, hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on service like this. I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if they were, if they were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you. The rest of your responsibility. You're a high school, after all. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me. Man, she must be so torn, though. Like, re be real here. Like, could you imagine being her position? All right. All right. Uh, three more to go. I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kawakami left. Okay, that's a good response. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, Master? <laughs> yeah, the rock number. Is this a hard sell? <laughs> what? No! I just want to hear your voice, Master. No, you really got the right idea. Still gotta hit my quotas for the week. Ah, oh, sorry. Part of the job. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just gonna drop a sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Uh, well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye bye Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a mess. Well, here we go again. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Oh, don't I know it. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean Medjed? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, 
It will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Right. Have you ever, okay, yeah, have you ever made or tried to make a, v, a VN? Uh, I want to someday. I have actually a few it's ideas really of stories. I um, get sweaty just walking a little bit. Like, seriously, how do I put this? I actually just had an idea that I think trumps all other ideas I've had for a story. I think it'd make a great book or a visual novel. I just need to make the time for it. Like, frankly, I think I'll get to it sometime, but I barely have time as it is. I'm currently working on another group project game that's doing some writing and I got the channel and like other stuff and I'm going to be going back to school soon. So like, I think making a VN, at least writing one, um, cause I think I can do the scripting. I couldn't do the computer side, but I think it's something I'm going to do, but it might be something I, I work on like next year, but we'll have to see. If I manage to make some more time for myself, I'll absolutely do it. Anyway, hey, Catchy, how you doing? I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. Oh, tell me about it. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows... Lab Mems. I underestimated it. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Hmm. <laughs> they seem more entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent, so this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Ba, ba, ba. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Teams versus Medjid Showdown. Which, which of them will come out on top? They both are criminals pretending to be heroes. You ask me, Medjid causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon, but you gotta tell me. Who do you think will win? Bum bum ba da da. Bum 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 ba da. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. Got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Oh, and so it begins. <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There's someone whose heart I'd like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjid, correct? I can give you information on them for the charge of a heart, uh, for if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I could take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I could track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can do for the prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Hmm. Is this a prank? Can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Right. That would be so scary, though. Like, can you imagine just getting a blank text of, like, I know exactly where you are. I could dox you. It's like, fetch, man. Midget, what's happening to this country? It'd be hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. Hey, nah. -uh. Is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking, I have no idea what it's like, but it sounds scary. I think they're getting a little cocky. They got, they got what's coming for them. Out of water. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? He knows something, at least. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. That would be really bad. <laughs> How careless of us. 
But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Yeah, the uh, the big scary thing about this is the fact that, like, we live in a world now, like, I, I don't care what you think or how private you keep yourself or how strong your passwords are. We live in a world now where, like, if someone who's talented wants your information, like, they really, really want it, they're going to get it. Like, it's scary, but, like, you just kind of, like, we have to just accept that now. Like, and I don't think people take that as seriously as it is, but, like, a lot of times, like, the only reason why people don't get your data is because they just don't want to be bothered to go to the trouble of getting it. But, uh, Free Zora, remember Okabe Gay that we're watching you checks? Yeah, I think Okabe's was way creepier than this one. Holy crap, Okabe's were terrifying. I think, yeah, because, like, Okabe got the we're watching, and then the, 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 the doll head, and then the jello, right? Or was it in a different order? Like, ugh. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. Yeah, it's a burner number. Like, it's actually something that's not too difficult to swing if you just know where to go. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Hmm. Then... Does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high Super tech hacker. Stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Well, yeah, you don't use a computer. <laughs> then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey. Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Right. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. Yeah. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort <sighs> of... <sighs> It'd be so stressful, like... A deal after all. God, it's like one, of the, like one of my biggest fears. Like, and it's gonna totally happen. I mean, the fact I put myself out on the internet. I try and make sure I'm as safe as is reasonable, but like... Someday, someone's just gonna get pissed off at something I say or whatever, and they're just gonna target me. And it's like, I don't want to deal with it, but it's gonna happen. That's one of the dangers of putting yourself out there on the internet, like especially for like a YouTube channel or something. Like, it, it's it's like everyone's already got targets on yourselves. Like if you make yourself vulnerable, and it's like the bigger the target, like the the more public you are, the bigger the target you have. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay <sighs> together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Hmm. Hey. Oh. What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. Ah, oh, Makoto, you really elevate the, uh, like, the legitimacy of this. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Oh, dear. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. That's a lot of trust, actually. 
We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Victory, huh? Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. Jeez. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Oh, so sad. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? Mm. It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Yeah, I don't remember the letter. I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Like real life. Calling card. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? That'd be terrifying, though, knowing what that means. There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? Hmm. What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Yeah. Oh dear. Agreed. Honestly, not engaging in trolls is one of the best things you can do. It, the problem is though, Veg is gonna excellate it. Hey, Kasumi! <sighs> Every day is so hot, I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are, Senpai? Um... Hey, what are your plans? Got nothing. What about you? Like, I don't know. So anyway. I'll be mostly doing training with the gymnastics team. And I have free time, I'll be doing self-training. Oh, would you like to join me, Senpai? Whenever you're available, it'd be fine. Oh, the train's here. Let's get going, then. Hey, it's fine, though. Oh, good day. <laughs> Let's be pleasant, shall we? Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the fan of thieves, correct? Hmm. I mean, they already seem to know. That's right. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it then you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared a calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal hearts as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery, thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm, I suppose past uh, calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was... Otuba Sakura. If you fail this mission, you'll expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. 
Who is Futoba, uh, Futoba, uh, Fut, uh, Futaba Sakura? I can't find access to send uh, an account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? <laughs> it's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? He never mentioned any. For reals? How laid back are you? Trust me, it's complicated! Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. It's complicated! Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. We were pretty lucky that actually lo the logic does line up with that. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. Hey, it's a good, it's a really good plan. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Yeah, this that is actually a really tough question. Honestly, I'm not sure how we would do that. Hmm. What's up? Just gonna be just very direct about this, huh? I want to meet Futaba. Why do you know about that? It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Okay, okay. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Oh, that's a lucky break. I forgot about that. Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? Oh, what a threat. What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Bitch. Sheesh, why is she doing that? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. I like how I've never know. I don't remember that cognitive science, but like a PSI, like 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 psychology or psychic. It's really interesting. Fine, you win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. Sure, you will. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. I sigh. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. Yes, she is. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. 
I mean, to be fair, I would actually think it might, because we don't know about Futaba, so, like, it would be pretty clear, like, it would be, like, it, she wasn't talking about me, was she? Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the door up. Ugh, so stressful. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. Sounds like everyone's got their own problems here. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Science. I wonder what the chief's hiding. Oh, you know. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. <clears throat> Oh, that stupid throat. Every time I go live, it's like I can't just have a normal conversation with y'all. She can help with the throat. The it's true. Like, threatening boss? okay, here's the thing. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I've not had any throat problems all day. I think maybe it's just nerves. I don't know. It's always a bit more pressure doing live compared to like normal, just because I'm more cong cognitively aware of my surroundings, maybe. Um, and I, because I got my water, should be fine. I don't know. Maybe I'll try something hot next time, maybe, but I don't know. I, uh, I'll work on it, but thanks for your concern. Yeah, she was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Match. What's up? Oh yeah, Makoto, you haven't told them yet, have you? It's nothing. Oh come on. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Oh, I think we're coming up on the scene that actually sold me on Makoto when I first played. Boop -a -doop -boop. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and you have the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I've told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? Also, I, I also said I'd report your identity to police if you don't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Both of these won't make any sense to text to them. Tell me your keywords. Keywords. What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. <sighs> Let's meet somewhere. Meet with me. That'll be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'll call this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait a second. I said deal's off. We never got- we're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Why are you doing this? I can't find the account to send the response to. I'll get back as an error message. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked That's out. That's pretty scary still, though. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? <sighs> you do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! Oh wait, was that like the the 
That was the 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 uh, briefcase full of fake money. We got one hundred and fifty thousand yen out of it. That's a thousand dollars, isn't it? That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. <laughs> That's horrifying! You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi! You're okay with that too, right? Dude, she's fine. Then it's decided. Ah, right, real authentic we'll sushi night. in Japan sounds like a dream. The whole get together thing. You seem quite busy, Sai san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Oh, yeah, because, you know, it's so personal. <laughs> Stress is bad for the skin, you know? <laughs> Purple Gamer, you're right, right, right. A normal cat should never eat sushi. I imagine the seaweed and the rice are problematic. Uh, but Morgana, being the kind of pseudo cat, kind of breaks the rules there. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? It is. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. Such a it bee. seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. All right. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then. To our victory. God, he's so slimy. Even now. Okay. Time for sushi. This place is the Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? We also have that big meeting, right? Like, when's that big, big thing? Oh, no, it's Sunday. I don't know what the calendar is. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm. I've never had flounder. I'm a little scared of flounder. It can, like, I know if it's, pre it's most likely prepared just fine, but still. The fact it can kill you, freaking terrifying. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Ah, <sighs> uh, I'm jealous. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? your horses and don't talk by the way oh yeah is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone no that again i can't get it off my mind especially if it means he could be taken to court what kind of person is he do you truly believe he'd do such a thing never not a, no chance like here's the thing he's right he is strict but he's also been horrifically kind. Like, he literally did not have to take us in, and he did. Like, he literally brought us into his house as a criminal and was willing to give us a chance. Like, not a chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. 
About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nap. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. She got a point. Wait, do you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Hmm. He must have cheated <clears throat> on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. <laughs> Shut him down, boys. Shut him down. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. Shut up! <laughs> <coughs> Um, th 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 fantastic! This sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. Ryuji, like it's amazing that everyone doesn't already know that we're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these Phantom Thieves. What rubbish! Punch him! Where we are, like, Punch you! You idiot! Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Boo boo doo. Ichima san, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, Akechi. Akechi. Akechi kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, Freaking creepy. I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? Oh, yeah. See, this is the problem, though. <laughs> like, uh, now that we have friends with Yusuke and Makoto, like, it actually is, like, and, and like, we were involved in Kashiro, like, you can definitely, like, without much investigating, like, you can really draw connections between us and everything that's been happening. I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. Oh, boy. For real? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Purple, you're talking about the Flounder. Uh, yeah, no, Flounder's interesting. Like, it's, like, supposed to be really good, but definitely it's quite ugly. Die, English again. Yep. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh... A huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. Right. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must yes, say, you did. You suck. This is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hmm. Uh, um, ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. In reality, it actually is. Like, the problem with, like, doxing is, like, you can't fight that, typically. Like... A lot of times people are just being trolly and like if someone is going to dox you or something it's usually because they want to get the reaction they want to like do something nasty you can't fight that you got to just kind of roll with the punches not that i want to try it anytime soon please do not ever try and do something like that but like you know if they say don't feed the trolls it's kind of true now there's a big difference though between like somebody being nasty to you and somebody being like objectively like evil like especially if people are like trying to use like opportunities to i don't know discriminate and like be hateful that needs to be addressed 
but like it just needs to be known like it's not welcome like it's something that's absolutely not welcome here on my discord anywhere like you bring hate speech you're gone it's gonna happen just because it's like there's no place for it or something like this though like there's really not much you can do i mean maybe to uh, two-step authenticate everything and then just kind of weather the storm sorry to disappoint but we're just normal high school kids if anything we want to hear what you gotta say mr detective that was a good response. The Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. Hmm. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Or you just a fan of thief. <laughs> hmm. He is being suspicious, but he's also a detective. Saying it like a joke would be really funny. You just a fan of thief. Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. And you really are a stupid one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? No. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> no what? way. What the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? Um, no, the logic's actually pretty there, Ryuji. It'd, I'd be like, big red warning lights going off in my head. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True. But it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Uh-oh. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damage. That's actually terrifying. Oh. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. Oh, fetch. We are Majed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. Yeah. What are we going to do about this? I don't know. If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues? Our boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. Mm -hmm. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Oh, you got some thoughts? Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? Mm-hmm. You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. Ah. 
It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? The interesting so leap of logic, but I, it kind of follows heart. through. Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's Aww. all go together. Boy, just throw more God under the bus. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Hmm. I think it's the right idea. No, it's a, definitely not this playthrough, but this is definitely Nobody's where answering. this I remember this is the scene that really sold me on uh Makoto as the love interest. Uh so yeah, it's real adorable up here. But She's got that combination of like being intelligent but also being like just adorable, especially in social situations. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. You scary. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. My apologies, boss. Uh, it's so sketchy what we're doing here. <laughs> Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean... Boss is kind of old, ain't he? Uh. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Oh. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please. Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? Uh, I'm not freaking out! You're totally freaking out. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Oh, she's out. Yusuke, Ryuji. Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? Oh, this thing is like, oh. And then... I can sense someone's presence. Yusuke, you're not helping. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. <laughs> no. My legs won't move. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's so adorable. <laughs> oh, Makoto. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Purple, uh, Gabriel, I guess if you haven't missed this part of the game, so, um, Morgana is like an entity from the kind of like more cognitive realm and, uh, kind of lives as an, uh, in Mementos, which is like kind of like the, 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 an alternate dimension that reflects ours, but the thoughts of the people who live here. Anyone who can travel to the other realm, who can become a Phantom Thief, especially, once they travel, they're able to hear Morgana talk. Other For everyone else, it just sounds like meowing. But anybody who's gone through and become a Phantom Thief, or at least has, like, you know, traveled there through, like, the travel app into the other dimension, can hear uh, Morgana. Alibaba! Butaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself! Aww. Are you okay, Butaba? Uh oh. Home. Why? Why? Why would you just hide? Who the hell are you? Don't move. Did you hear me? It's just me, boss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody, please save me. 
You? What are you doing in my house? I like how we're just so like chill there. We're just staying there with our hands in our pockets and like Makoto's like literally like clutching our leg. Like he's so unflappable. <laughs> You're uh, a good good evening, sir. We that we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima son. Wait, are, are you two dating? No. We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and. It <laughs> is all just gonna Your walk out. Kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Yeah. Oh, good. He's not too um, mad. Excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san to... Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with futaba -san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if Ooh. possible. I didn't really- I forgot that she's so smooth here. She's like, oh, we, if we scared her, we'd like to say sorry. It's like, soup, it's a good way. Well, uh, that's- Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. To be fair, it's your secret to keep, Let's man. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Okay. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, Somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. Besides the sharp witted part, sounds like me. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Like, I don't know. My mom kind of did that, though. Like, uh, my parents got divorced, and uh, my dad, of course, he had his education to lean on, and so he had a good job. But uh, when they split up, my mom had an associate's degree, and that's it was like in horse raising. <laughs> Not really easy to turn that into a career. Especially at the drop of a hat. So she worked her butt off. She worked uh, like a full-time job, a, a part-time job, and went to school like as much as she could. Uh, and that was to keep herself afloat. I mean, she did her best to take care of us, obviously, uh, me and my siblings. But uh, my dad ended up, you know, with child support, effectively taking care of us. But it's still like something I look back on, just like she must have been breaking her back every day just to move forward so i can't imagine someone being able to do that with like a tiny like a really small child too because at the time my brother was the youngest and actually you know what now i think about it he would have been about seven wow was he really that young when they split up must have been wow his whole life then he really didn't he didn't have a chance to have many memories of the of our parents together. Granted, you know, when parents split up, it's for good reasons usually, and, you know, to each their own, but still. Can't help but be a little sad at that thought now I think about it. I'm sure he doesn't mind, it was just what he grew up with, but still. Anyway. Anyway, let's move on. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about her father? 
There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. Mm. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. Dang. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. What? Yes. She committed suicide. Ah. Uh, that'd be horrible. Suicide. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh, Fetch. I forgot about that. Good night. Ah. Uh. Could you imagine the horrifying scars that would put in a child? Fetch, man. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. Yeah. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? It doesn't take a genius to realize that a kid would blame themselves for it. I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. Sadly, it's like, it's not that uncommon. Like, kids often will blame themselves for, like, when bad things happen to them or around them. Like, even if nobody, like, you know, enhances that idea by, like, you know, like bolstering it or like implying it which sadly happens way too often enough kids often look to themselves when they need to figure out like why something bad happens to them terrible it's also like i'm a huge like it sounds weird to say but i'm a huge believer in in adoption something i plan to engage in because it's just there's so many broken homes and, and kids growing up in these broken families and and or abandoned for whatever reason and like it's horrifying to think about that like i mean life's hard enough when you have an ideal situation and like you know like my past wasn't perfect but fetch it was ideal like i always had everything i needed and more and then you think about the fact that there are kids out there who like you know if they're not on the street they're in the system and they have to just, you know, deal with that. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's terrifying. It's like, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to think about. It's something I wish I could do more for. Like, like I said, I don't know if I can really fix the system. And I don't know if I have it in me to really commit myself to the whole thing. But I, f I really like the idea. My wife really likes the idea of, like, someday, like, Giving at least one kid a good home, like a home they deserve, that they just don't have the opportunity to have. Uh, Purple Gamer, you're adding, uh, he said, the love of a parent towards the children is unconditional and much sacrifice goes to keeping them safe. Absolutely. It's something you never really recognize as a kid. Like, it's like, it goes right over your head just because you just assume that's just how life is, you know? And then, I don't know. Uh, you grow up, you you go on your own, maybe you even have kids of your own, and you suddenly are like, okay, I suddenly understand. And it puts a perspective there you can't ever take back. And uh, it's kind of funny, I think that's why, like, Christmas has now, like, become a favorite holiday of mine. Because growing up, you know, you just, you look forward to presents, and it becomes really cool for that. But now, I see it as the time of giving, it helps me, like, like, not only do I get to give gifts to people and that, enjoy that, but it also helps me, like, really appreciate, like, what my parents were going through when uh, they gave gifts to me and when they went to work every day and when they, like, made my lunches or went to parent-teacher conferences uh, and they took that time to sit down and talk with me even when they were tired. And then you think about kids who have abusive homes or, or parents who are just distant or... Who don't have parents at all. And like just that thought alone breaks my heart. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. 
I gotta get that. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. Mm. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Mm. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. Right. Well, of all shut-ins, she's got the good reasons, but still it's not healthy. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Right. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. <laughs> it seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. Maybe, but at the same time, like, she's, she'll stagnate there. But can you also, like, can you justify, like, forcing her to face these things? That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. Yeah. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Mm. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. Right. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? We should check. Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? Candidate found. There we go. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Um, remember, disordered desire has nothing to do with evil. It does drive people towards being crazy, and that can be evil, but it's all about just twisted desires. Hey, Morgana. <gasps> Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. How did we not notice this? So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Right. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. Oh, so Purple, you're saying Futaba needs a game console or a PC? Hold the phone. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. Come on, man. It's like it's, like it's that hard. <laughs> I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Let's do this thing. This is all because of, yeah. See, there's no Futaba. The he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? 
What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> yep, there he is. Where'd Morgana go? Wait, does that mean I'm free? I'm free! I can just do whatever I want! But, but I can't leave still? Is this psychic presence keeping me bound to? Darn you, cat! And I don't even have anything cool to do. I, I, am I physically incapable of doing anything until Morgana? That's stupid. Wait, train? What's tr Oh, like training. I thought it meant like train, like riding the train. I was like, what? Do you, how am I doing that from my room? I should go to bed. All right, let's sleep. Hey! I'm just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was. I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. How'd you know that? No, it's like, where were you? That's a better question. Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. What was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. Right. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Right. Oh, gonna go see Sai for a second, are we? But yeah, as you can see, Purple Gamer, she's got a, quite a PC. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? They were an unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. I'm not lying to you. I put down. There we go. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. Okay, uh, so Purple you really should play this game if you have the chance to, honestly. It's really good. But the idea of a palace is that, um, so, okay, basics of this are there's our world and then there's the, the re a cognitive world. It's a reflection of the minds of all people, like... So, like, the way we see and perceive the world and each other shapes how that dimension looks. People with intensely strong desires can actually warp that side of the space so much into what's called a palace. It's a, like, it's a large collection of this kind of cognitive energy that gathers these kind of wayward uh, creatures called shadows, which are kind of, like, harsh reflections of us on the other side and our essential, maybe most core driving aspects. Those aspects being things like kindness or hatred or fear, a lot of like the, the seven deadly sins, but also virtues on the other side. But they collect over there and they start to like your your desire, your your focus, your obsession starts to twist within you. It's something that actually happens to people where people get obsessed with something, an idea, a concept, um, a reality or a non-reality. Like it can slowly start to warp inside you. And inside this cognitive space, that becomes a physical location called the palace. And that palace, you kind of reign supreme. And you kind of have a manifestation of your internal, like perceived reality. And as it exists, it continues to apply pressure to your desire, letting it grow and fester and continue to warp. And so then in the reality, your 
perspective starts to continue it also warps further and further making it so that and so the response to that is that as people's desires are twisted they start taking more and more drastic and often harsh turns in their in the real world the first guy's palace um he was a controller and he was abusive he saw like he was a like an accomplished person whose title gave him entitlement um, he then used that power to gain power over the sports teams in high school, and he would push them to their physical limits, often getting physically abusive with them. And that desire and kind of his rulership made him feel like a king, which is kind of why his palace turned into a castle with him as a king. And then he extended that to girls who he had, felt he had power over and used that power to abuse them. And so that's what got our attention to him. We fixed it and we, we, we corrected his heart. Now. You can actually kill people by doing that, but we were letting them go and kind of letting them snap back to reality, which by unwinding that twisted desire wakes them up to what they're actually doing and kind of like reassesses them in their conscious conscience. So, so far, whenever we've changed people's hearts, they then proceed to feel so guilty for the things they've done and the things they've been thinking. They actually confess to the crimes they've committed. You know, we've only targeted people mostly who have actually committed crimes. Though there are some people we find who are like starting to build palaces that we can actually help like correct before they actually do anything too bad. So yeah. Anyway, they if I were to boil it down to a, a small idea, the notion of a palace is a summation of somebody's twisted desires manifesting in the real world and most strongly appearing as a physical location in the cognitive world. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. It seems uh, Sai Nijima is starting to say to seriously listen to what I have to say. All right, let's get that bond going. Only rank two. All right. Ah, oh, it's got so much more for it to go. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No, perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Yes. Let's see what they do. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. I thought we were actually gonna go there, but all right. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. Naturally. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Yep. Going by what she has told us? We may even be able to identify who they are. Mm-hmm. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? <sighs> that doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. Yeah, exactly. That's a great... She's so young, He's, though. He summarized it so much better than I did. she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? Mm -hmm. There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? Yeah. She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Right. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Heck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. 
Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Yeah, well, it's kind of funny because Alibaba, that's actually a pretty strong clue. Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Hope so. That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. Aww. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Eh, I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. I can sense firm resolve from Morgana. Yeah, let's get that bond up. Ooh, allows you to craft an info all infiltration tools. All right. Sweet. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Yep, let's go. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Maybe an oasis? Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? That'd be a terrifying palace. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. Oh, Ruji. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, it's a risk, though. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. Ah, uh, breaking and entering. What? How far are you fallen, perfect girl? This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Let's see. Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. There we go. It's like talking to all the lightning fingers uh, in uh, Steins Gate. All right, then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. Uh, Morgana's story is a human. That's an interesting one. I'm not going to get into it because it does involve some spoilers of the late game, but uh, that's it's a, it's a building mystery. Uh, as we get to the end, you'll be able to find out. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Okay. What do you want to hear? Hmm. I was living in this house. It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. Painful. Why don't you go out? Can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. 
Die? Think it's going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb. All right, tomb. Input accepted. Here we go. Oh, I know the answers to this already, but it still sends a chill up my spine. Just like that word being the answer. It's freaking terrifying. I'd be like, oh my gosh. We got it. Was that enough? Yes, it was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Yeah, that was foolish. But for one reason, because we were gonna pop back out inside his house. It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Oh boy. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. Interesting. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Yeah. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway. Let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? No, we got Morgana car. Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. Why? I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. Considering you're new to this purple, this has gotta look very strange. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. Ah, uh, yes, the animated anime section. So hot. It's stuffy. Nope. Okay. Oh. Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Why are you wearing white? Oh, gosh. It's... Uh, anime and fan service. Look away, those. I drank it already. <sighs> How are the guys? Uh, oh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how worse is there, like. So unabashed, it's so dumb. <laughs> there it is. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You want to fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. That makes sense. It's a tomb. The nice one, too. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. Itchy foot. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? Hmm. It's beautiful nonetheless. 
It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. All right. Hey, there she is. Woo, you're me. Hmm, there's someone there. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. She's so, so you're tiny. So Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Oh, uh, super chat from uh, Dice Aria. Hey, thank you so much. It's S G uh, G D for four. I don't know what that. Co I need to look up what that is. Hang on. What is that anyway? Oh shoot. I I. <sighs> Oh, my phone on me. But thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? I think it's true. Like, why are they being so dismissive, man? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Oh yes, it's the Sundere thing. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's all your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come don't near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. <sighs> Whoa, scary though. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our clothes. Oh, uh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> she sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Thank you, man. Have a good day at work. Thank you so much for your uh, for the for the donation. Hmm? This again? Creepy child. You killed her. You're a plague. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! One of those books it has the the symbol from like. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. I, I know it's really distracting from the moment, but like behind her name tag, there's a book that has the the symbol that's like, it's not it's not from Half Life, it's from Portal. Oh, what's the company called that had like the Portal comp like that had the Gladys and all that? Like, oh come on, think of it. I think it starts with an A, but it looks like that symbol. Is that saying that this is the same universe? That'd be amazing. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. Is this is by the sorry to distract from this. This is terrifying. Right. Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Something to help me! Mm. I'm coming for you, girl, I promise. Damn it. What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and Oh boy. What now? Indiana Jones time! <laughs> Look at those arms pumping. <laughs> I'd be so dead. I'd be so dead. <sighs> We're safe. That was too close. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Kutab what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. 
This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and come back? Good idea. My thoughts exactly. You're right. Then, let's retreat for today and come back to the palace another day. Get out of here. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. Right. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Right. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Agreed. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. I agree. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. It kind of sounds like an like a like a what, what, what's the what's that movie called with a like a lost tre like lost treasure or something? Yeah, I don't know. This, it feels like one of those cheesy adventures. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on. You know? Well, yeah, but still. I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. At least he's honest. <laughs> you guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to be. Oh, Yusuke, you're the best. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. I got it. You would have if you could have. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be alright like this? Alright, your hideout's moved to Shibuya, uh, to Kui uh, Kikuya building access way, uh, access way to the Yongen Yaya Cafe Le Blanc. Oh God, I can't read to that. I'm getting tired, guys. I think we're gonna be closing off pretty soon. Oh, it's terrifying. Mom. Poor Futaba. This is a heartbreaking palace. But it works. Alright. So. I know it's kind of an odd place, but like, I'm getting a little tired. I think it's good. The most thing I want to do for these streams is making them consistent. I don't like, I don't know. I don't understand people who can stream for like six plus hours. It's freaking nuts, but it's not me. But thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, it's a pleasure being able to do this with you. Thank you to the patrons who are wonderful people who don't get enough love. I really can't thank you guys enough. You guys are so awesome. And thank you for those of you who, do, who do, donate to Super Chat. Seriously. You don't need to do that, but like I appreciate it. Keep in mind, anything I do get, of course, goes directly back into the channel. Like, it's all gonna be whatever I get is always gonna be put back into this and trying to make it a better place for all of us and just, you know, to continue making great content like this. I appreciate all the time you guys have spent, and I love being able to talk with you in chat. So please feel free to come back anytime. I probably won't let things go too far astray from the game content. Uh, but of course for anyone who's a patron like you got the patron cast if you want to hear me ramble about anything Of course you can post questions there as well, but for everyone else just like I'm grateful to have you here Feel free to leave a comment or a question or anything. I'll answer as best I can uh, Yes, yeah, so if you're watching and if you're watching this like on YouTube Thank you so much for spending your time here as well uh, This is of course a compilation of live streams I do on Wednesdays so in case you want to join me for those you can also see the full let's plays in a playlist, uh, it'd be like Persona 5, like, uh, live stream archive. That's what you want to look up in there. Other than that, like, thank you so much for spending your time here. Hope you enjoyed yourself as we get started into Futaba's Palace. Now, uh, like, last few times, like, because of the, um, unlockable, uh, camera strap that we have, which, as long as we do an ambush on an enemy, gets us a little bit of extra health and energy, uh, there's a decent chance I'll be able to knock out an entire palace in one sitting, maybe two, because her palace is a little jumpier. We might have to do a, like, 
I can't remember if we have to do a in-person intervention of some kind or not. Uh, so if that's the case, obviously it'll have to be a two-parter, but regardless of that, it is going to be a blast and should be a lot of fun. So I hope you stick around for that. And then after that, we'll proceed to doing all the other fun stuff we get to do in our downtime. Thank you guys so much. And until next video you're watching me, I'll see me next. I'll see you there. <laughs>